Hi and welcome to Violet Connie Art. I've got a scroll box here today and it is the fastest I've ever got a scroll box. It was a record seven days to get this one. So I am super excited. I was not expecting this to be in the post today. So let's have a little look what is inside. Okay, so what is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, oh, something sticking out. Let's have a look at the artwork first, see if that gives us a clue. Oh, very nice. This is gorgeous. I love the colors. I hope these are the colors that we're going to get. Cy Mitchell, I hope I'm saying your name right. They have an Instagram account. You can read their details just here. Gorgeous artwork. It looks like an illustrator living in Cambridgeshire. Cambridgeshire? Very cool. Okay. Now let's see what this is in here. Oh, there's a lolly coming out. Mint, it looks like. Green. Waker's Mint. Yum. It's my favorite flavor of ice cream and chocolate is mint. So yum, 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 yum. And now we've got next. What is this? Okay, a Milan eraser. I love the pattern on this. That's super cool. What cool colors? I'm guessing it's this themed because gold and like a, a mint color. Paper Tiger is the challenge. That is very, very cool. So we have a little Mil Milan stuff in here by the looks of it. A Milan Graphite H pencil. So that's interesting. It's just a color pencil. We have a Liquid Chrome 20 year edition Molotow. Liquid Chrome. Is this like a liquid silver pencil? I can't get the lid off. Okay, let's see what it says. Break seal only after purchase. Let's see what it is. Okay. Oh, it's a paint pen. So I'm guessing it's a silver paint pen. Okay, we'll wait to swatch that out. This one is a Pilot Pintor F. Let's see. And it's in one millimeter. Let's see what it is. It looks like another paint pen. Okay. This looks like a nice bigger one so it's in 1.4 and it's, this is the nice mint colored one look at that big nib that's very cool okay I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to swatch these and a silver one with I mean a gold it's not silver oh gosh can't get it open all right here we go very very cool art supplies I'm very excited for this let's see what some of their paper is it says here oh it's very thin I wonder how it's going to hold up with these paint markers uh, it is a 125 GSM paper Cantaletto papers okay all right let's get swatching and think that this will be very interesting what does this say first this month we want to get you inspired by the in illustrative street art of style and of our featured artist and create some green gold and chrome masterpieces these markers work on most surfaces so don't feel like you have to stick to the paper included. Use the paper to swatch the supplies and sketch out your ideas, but why not find a different surface to get creative with? An old skateboard, a flower pot, or even an empty milk carton. There are lots of strange objects that could be used in your creativity, so why not try out painting on an item that isn't paper? I'm going to have to have a think about that. That's very interesting okay very cool all right let's get swatching and designing swatching so we've got pencil it's a regular pencil okay and we've got an eraser i'm guessing it's kind of you know your regular erase oh it's so, it feels nice to use it's very soft it's very good and we've got this Molotow Liquid Chrome 20 year edition. Give it a good shake. And then it's squish squish. It's gonna take a while. Here it comes. Oh, look at that silvery, silvery, silvery. Oh, wow. That is amazing. <gasps> this is lovely. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that well on the camera. 
Let's see. Ooh, ooh, it's sparkly and shiny. Very nice. Who doesn't like sparkly and shiny things? Okay, next up we're going to try the white one. This is the smallest nib out of all of them, and I wonder if you really... We probably won't see it on this paper, but it might be used for, like, highlights. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, here it comes. Oh, yep. You can see the white on here. Oh, very nice. I like this plasticky nib. It's very cool. You can't really see the color, though. slow a nice opaque coverage I feel like let's go over this oh yeah absolutely these are really smooth to use as well I've got Posca pens and they tear up the paper terribly this is not tearing the paper at all I'm really enjoying using that all right so the mint color now oh mint I'm surprised at how well it's not tearing up the paper Oh yeah, this nibs just do not rip the paper like Posca pens, and I'm, I'm really surprised. This one is um, also a Pintor in mint. I wonder if they've got colour names. Oh, it's a green. It just says green. Okay. I wonder what the price of these is compared to, say, a Posca pen. Alright, let's... Oh, look at that. That is very nice. And I go over it a few times and it's not scratching up the paper. Look at it. Oh! Okay, and we've got gold. Very nice. Let's see if this is uh, opaque as well. Let's go over the black. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it just goes, it just covers it right up. Mm. This one. I'm going to try the green. Let's try that on the black. It does, it, they're, uh, they are super opaque. I am really impressed. I think that even my Posca pens are not quite as opaque as these. These are amazing. Let's have a Okay, well, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna come up with an idea for Paper Tiger. Okay, so it's been a number of days since I filmed the unboxing and swatching part of this video. And I had a bit of a think about what surface I could actually do this on, because I didn't want to do it on paper as it was suggested in by, by Scroller Box. Um, and so I had a look around and first I was going to use my pencil case that I sometimes take out with me if I'm going on a day trip, which has got watercolors and pens and things in it, which is purple. And I was going to put it on here, but I worry that it might wipe off because even though it's a fabric surface, it's really rather smooth and I didn't want to make a mess when I'm out and about. So I had a bit more of a think about it and I ended up remembering that I had one of these in my cupboard. Um, I made a whole heap of dice rolling trays for my son and his friends for their D&D game. And I bought these in a three pack and um, multiple and this one was just left over. And so I'm thinking that I might use this to draw on the frame in, um, a tiger on here and then maybe do something creative with with the spare piece of paper so uh yeah i i'm gonna get into doing that um yeah i'm gonna put this into time lapse and uh, you can see what i create so i started off by taking the frame apart and measuring out how big the glass was so that i could make sure that my sketch would fit inside and i used the back of my swatching paper to draw out my tiger and i wanted a little bit of his foot to be looking like it's coming out of the frame so I also drew at the bottom of the glass size the frame size as well so that I could measure how much I needed to be able to put his little paw coming out if you can hear a funny noise that is my dog Daisy she's licking herself really close to me today and she I've tried to convince her to go away from me while I'm filming but she just wants to sit with me so I apologize so yeah I sketched out this tiger onto the piece of paper and my idea was to sketch him out and to fill him up with as a, just a rough idea of how the colors are going to work to make sure that the way that I was going to do it was going to look okay and then put the piece of glass on top of the sketch and then draw seeing through it kind of tracing my original sketch onto the glass because naturally you can't actually sketch onto glass pencil doesn't work on glass and this was a nice way to make sure that 
I got everything in proportion and everything how I wanted it to look before I put it onto the glass. It got a little bit tricky with how to put each part on there, but I think I managed okay. So this is, as you can see here, I actually put the tiger sketch into the glass now that I've got everything kind of mapped out. And I just start filling it all in. Unfortunately for me, uh, finances have been a little tight lately, and so this will actually be my last scroller box video, maybe for a while, if not, I, I'm not sure if I will start getting them again. I really liked getting squirrel box, but uh, yeah, it's it's just a bit much every month. I don't have a subscription. I was just paying it every month uh, to get each one if I could afford it. And I just feel like at this time, I've probably got enough art supplies. I do know what I like. I, did, I do think this is a great box to go out on the supplies in this I am so happy with and I'm then also a little bit disappointed that I'm not going to be getting scroller box anymore because the supplies in this one were so good but I have also had a little bit of struggles with scroller box with some of the supplies not always matching each other inside which makes doing art a little bit difficult and then sometimes a little bit stressful although I do like the challenge uh, I think that for the time being I really want to focus on my watercolour more and just using the supplies I've already got at home. So now that I've finished mapping out most of the colour onto the tiger, I pulled him out of the frame on the piece of glass and started putting in the uh, black and the gold in the background uh, just to block in the colour. Initially I wasn't going to put any background colour and just let the wood of the backboard show through, but then I thought it would really bring out his nose and his eyes which I'd done in the gold if I put that as the background color so and I'm, I'm really pleased that I did and I think it looks really nice especially with like all the streakiness it's nearly like he's uh, um, walking through a like a golden grassy field and so I think that the texture just adds to the piece and then after I finish colouring in that entire background, you can actually see me here just filling in the black and it just really pulls the rest of the piece together. It really shows out his eyes. It shows the de definition around his muzzle, his legs, the, the stripes on his back and the shape of him in space a little more. I did have a little struggle with uh, putting these pen these paint pens onto the actual frame itself it just wanted to repel and bead up the paint so I had to go over those a few times and then with the white I just put a few dots in his eyes for a little bit of a shine and then outlined his whole entire shape with that white as well now here I cut down the spare piece of paper into the right size of the frame and glued it into the frame with my purple glue and signed my piece now after that glue dried I popped him I poked a little hole in it first with my craft knife and ripped it a little bit and then I popped my tiger into the frame and put the backing on and started to tear the paper around him. So here's my tiger that is busting through paper. So that's how I got <laughs> to the paper tiger prompt for this one. And I think it looks really cool. It's like he is busting out of the paper uh, through the frame with his paw coming out the front. And I am so very pleased with how it turned out. I'm in love with this. It's now on my uh, desk where I do my computing and all of that kind of thing. And I just love it. It looks really good there. And I'm so pleased that I did this final challenge with Scroller Box. He just looks amazing. And the color is just gorgeous as well. It's really, really pretty. And there's him with all of the art supplies. Today's shout out goes to Beck from Cutest Voodoo. She does some gorgeous, cute, gory themed artworks that are just absolutely stunning. I don't know how she does it, but they are really, really cool. She's also a fellow Aussie, and the way I actually found her channel was by doing scroller box, uh, seeing a scroller box video of hers. It was suggested to me in my YouTube feed, and I've been watching her videos ever since. And I'm just, 
I just adore what she does. So make sure you go and check her out with the link in the description and tell her that Connie says hi. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe as always and hit the little bell so you're notified every single time I put a new video up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.